For question nine, five years ago, I was five times older than my son. In eight years time, I'll be three times older than my son. How old am I today? What I tend to do with these questions is I put um, the two people in a, either both in a column or both in a row. In this case, I've put it into uh, columns and I've now separated them such that I've stated that their age now is X years old for the son and Y is old for the father. Now, if we analyze this sentence here, five years ago, I was five times older than my son. So five years ago, the son would have been five years less, which is X minus five, but he is five times older than the son. So if his son is this age, then the father will be five times older, which is five times X minus five. Whereas, in eight years' time, I'll be three times older than my son. So if the current uh, age is x, then in eight years' time, the son will be x plus eight, but the father will be three times as old as the son. So it's three times his son's age eight years after, which is three times x plus eight. But between these two ages, between five years ago, and eight years after, if you think about it on a number line, okay, if this is um, what's now and this is five years ago and this is eight years later, there's a difference of five years here and there's a difference of eight years here, which is a total difference of 13 years. So if you subtract um, the age eight years later by the age uh, five years ago, you'll get 13, okay? Or similarly, if you get this number eight years after, okay, the father's age eight years after, minus 13, you will get his age uh, 13 years ago, okay? So we can do that as well. Um, so let me just write that. I'll get three times x plus eight. Now, if I just minus his age 13 years ago, then the difference in age will be 13. So now I've got an equation that I can solve. I can expand that. So that I'll get 3x plus 24 minus 5x plus 25. That's equal to 13. Subtracting 3x by 5x gives you negative 2x. 24 plus 25 is 49. And then if I move this over, okay, 13 minus 49 um, that would become negative 36. And then dividing both sides by negative 2 will give you 18. So that is the son's age, which is 8. Oh, sorry, that's um, the son's age, which is 18 years old. But the father is Y is old. So you need to find what's Y. Okay. Um... So what you can do here is you can substitute in this number into any one of these for the father's age. Okay, so I can sub, sub it into this one here because um, that would become the father's age five years ago. Okay, so he would become five times 18 minus five okay, which is basically 5 times 13, and that's 65. So he was 65 years old 5 years ago, but that means his present age is 5 years after that, which is now 70, okay? So his current age of father would be 65 plus 5, which is 70 years old, all right? Okay, let's go to question 10. Two ancient armies are one kilometer apart and begin walking towards each other. The Mohicans walk at a pace of three kilometers per hour and the Mohicans walk at a pace of four kilometers per hour. How long will, for how long will they walk before the battle begins? So the Mohicans are here, they're walking this way. Mohicans are here walking that way. So Mohicans walk faster. 
okay, by just one kilometer power. But altogether, they are one kilometer spaced out apart, right? So this has got a heavy reliance on distance. Because these are given as speed, you have to convert this to distance somehow. So using our DST triangle, distance, if you cover it, is speed times time. So we've got the speed, that's here. Um, we don't have the time though, so we're just gonna let the time be t, uh, which is where they meet here. Okay, so after t, uh, I guess, hours, okay, I guess you can just write time in hours here, of when the battle begins, all right? So, if I let t be that time in hours, then the distance here traveled will become 3t, which is the distance, sorry, the speed uh, becomes times the time, okay? Whereas the Mohicas, they will travel four times t. Okay? So all together, 3t plus 4t all together would total this distance of one kilometer. So I would have 7t equal to one kilometer. Okay, or one. So that means t would equal to uh, one seventh of an hour, right? And that's how long they will walk be uh, before the battle begins.